Hello, Chicago community. What do I got for you today? Pertaining to the Kylie Rodden case. Um, I got a lot of questions. That's what I got. That's what I got. And as we all know, there's more speculation and questions than there is actual facts in this case. So what did I find? Let's find out. So I've been holding this information in for a long time because I was trying to get an interview with a certain someone who decided to just magically show her face back up on the Glarus channel, uh, channel, which is Xanime. Xanime has a friend who actually lives pretty close to her who has some pretty interesting connections. Her connections make me question just how connected Xanime is to these connections and it's going to be connections that you wouldn't even have imagined that could have been potentially connected to Xanime. It's me. I'm friends with Doug. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, it is a lady that I will not um, show her. She's an older lady. I will not show her actual um, face due to privacy. But if you look this picture up, you're not going to find it anywhere on the internet. This is a legitimate picture that was sent to me through a text message when Doug flew out to help this woman fix an RV that they were going to get ready to donate or something. Um, they supposedly met in Jalissa Fuentes case. I really don't know how true that is. Um, but kind of weird that this is the connection to Xanime that I've had and been trying to get information from and everything else like that, which I found some things out, which will be pretty interesting and coming out soon. But what is the connection with Zanime and Doug and this lady. I have so many questions um, pertaining to as this lady knows Zanime very, very well. And Doug was in the um, Kylie Rodney case and Zanime was in the Kylie Rodney case. So there's a whole lot of questions here. I have a whole lot of questions. Like, how do you really know him? And, you know, so much else. But we will, f we'll soon find out, you know? We'll soon find out.